Thank you That's and goodbye. My heart um, is just <laughs> full of iron. Uh, welcome back to Anderson's <laughs> TV. I'm joined, as always, by the beautifully talented, <laughs> wonderful, uh, periodically annoying, but not so much today, <laughs> Danish Pete! <laughs> wow! We need to, you know, but doing videos like this, it's like we have to come up with an analogy of what it is to do videos with each other like he does in Car Wow. An analogy of what it's like to do videos together. Or, or like Lionheart. Like sticking it's a my head in like a, a beehive. A, a blend, a, a, a beehive. Stung. And then stung to, and then put in a blend, your hands, two hands in your blender while you put your face in a beehive. Is that what he does on Car Wow? It's a good channel, that one. Anyway, yeah, is, right. Yeah. Uh, new product from <laughs> Laney, but before we get into this... Uh, yes, I was just about to interrupt you. <laughs> just interrupt away, go on, tell them. Please like and subscribe, because you'll win something when we hit another 50,000 subscribers, and we hit a million, you can win a real clone. Wow, right. It'll be worth a million pounds by then. Laney, if they'd been a French company, they might be Laney. Uh, but they're not. They're from uh, near Birmingham, Birmingham in the United Kingdom. Careful, uh, Laney. Birmingham. They, this little box here called the Ironheart Foundry, Foundry like another name for where you melt metal. They're isn't all it, into that black co uh, country. Uh, they love what, it. What's the steel they watch park too much Peaky Blinders. The, yeah, that's exactly. Why. Does it come with a hat with razor yeah. blades in it? Like <laughs> <laughs> Lyndon Laney, the original <laughs> Peaky Blinder. <laughs> um, Do you like anyway. my pedal? No, not really. <laughs> we just slit to so death. So this, right? Come on, we'll get there. Yeah. This, believe it or not, is a sixty watt guitar amplifier with emulated DI output, two channels, boost. It's a pretty cool effects loop, all that good stuff. Input aux, output headphones. Aux. aux. Um, so, yeah, so aux. this is running off of a, a 24 volt um, sort of wall wart style wall main wart. supply, uh, which you get included in the price. Mm -hmm. uh, and what you heard in that first bit of the jam was basically us just plugging it into a normal cabinet. Yep. So we're into a little one by 12 cabinet down here that we've mm -hmm. mic'd up. Uh, and it's 60 watts, so it's a lot louder than I kind of thought it might be given, you know, bearing in mind it's coming off of a, like a, a mains adapter rather than, you know, the yeah, full yeah, 240 yeah. volt thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, uh, we've got the reverb coming from a TC Hall of Fame, which is through the effects loop. Ariel Poulsen uh, preset here. Mm. Mm. Uh, and you just heard in that opening clip, I just very, very quickly went through channel one with the, and then with the boost and then channel two with the boost, which yeah. is it's vibe, right? I like it. This iron heart bit is lit. Look at this, look. Well, you just literally turn it on and off switch Hello. as well. You oh, is there? That stuff, yeah. oh, there is. Apologies about that. <sighs> Honestly. Um, so and that's the video, so thank you very much for watching. Yeah. <laughs> let's start on channel one through the cabinet, and then once we've done a quick run round here, we'll show you the emulated output. Yes, um, sir. And yes, also, sir. it can be used as a normal distortion pedal into the front of an amplifier. Oh, can it? If you'd like to do that. Can it? Yes, you have to use the effects send because that runs as like a line out. Yes. Yes. <laughs> can you, yes. <laughs> can you use it into the effects loop of a... Yes. Uh, yes. So it's going to become a preamp. Could be all those things. Wow. Uh, and you can do all those things simultaneously other than you can't use the effects loop at the same time as using the line out. But that depends if you can multitask. I can't. No. So I clean. I'll just play the same old licks and somebody yes. just teach me some new licks. Right. Channel one, I think it's ostensibly a, a, a clean sound, but yeah, if you wind the gain up, you've got this sort of three stage, pretty subtle um, voice switch here yeah. to go from clean rhythm to lead. I, when we first plugged this in, I found this switch very subtle. So phoned uh, Laney 
um, the guy who designed this, and he said, yeah, it's pretty subtle until you get the, the gain wound up. So mm -hmm. I would say it's um, hard to say if it's misleadingly um, screen printed on here because it says clean rhythm and lead, but it, it's a, it's a, a voicing flavor rather than necessarily a, you know, like a, yeah. It's definitely That's not all it salt is. bay. It could be, yeah. It's a bit salt, um, salt beige. Anyway, it's That's a, nice you know what? It comes out of that, all of it is coming out yeah, of that little that, box. That's it, with the whole a speaker thing, cable. just one, well, a reverb pedal, yeah. and a cab, yeah. and a guitar, and a guitar, and, guitar, yeah. and a table to And then a table, on. and you, Other and a coffee. That, and electricity. Yeah, um, and phone. But it's cheap. You know, I say cheap. You know, it's relatively Affordable. speaking. This is under 200 pounds. You know, that which is, is and, and there's lots of products coming out in this kind of category now. Yes. But we're kind of seeing, you know, you had the, the blue guitar thing and the Victory V4 and the Milkman thing. So they're sort of sitting up at the sort of, you know, 800 to 1,000 yeah, pounds. Yeah. Maybe, I suppose you could argue, they're certainly louder, maybe a bit more pro featured. Yeah. Then you had Blackstar, I've done Amped One recently. It's kind of really, you know, sold a lot of products sitting in that sort of more mid price Class B range. Thingy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This though at 189, I think this is going to be is nuts. And with that, I think you mentioned it. You're almost down into that orange micro stamp yeah, thing or yeah, terra yeah, yeah. stamp, yeah. whatever it is. Less features on that one, you know. Way less features on the terra stamp, yeah. you know. So I think Hughes and Kettner maybe do. They do uh, is it the, the baby little, spirit. Oh, they do the spirit, little yeah, the, like yeah, that. This, yeah, spirit of rock and spirit blues of and rock. But I like this so far. And you know what? I, this is and those, if I remember rightly, the the, the orange. Terra stamp and the little HK, they're only 20 watts or something yeah. like that, whereas 60. this is 60. So it's yeah. definitely, I mean, we're getting volume here that I think you would happily well, know, do a little gig uh, with it. Should we, Should we uh, check? Easy peasy, over that 100 dB. Is, that is loud. No problem. Yeah, oh, yeah. a clean sound as well. I'm really impressed. Let's stretch okay. the strings quickly. But. Um, the boost function. Uh, can be used over either channel one or channel two. It has its own separate level control to see how much we boost. I actually don't know whether this is like a pre or a post boosty thing. So I guess we'll find out if it's if it's pre, if it, it'll just add more saturation and a little bit of extra volume maybe. If it's post, it'll add a lot more volume. Volumes. We'll see. Let's volumes. I'll okay. hope it's in the front because that's how I like okay. it. <laughs> to hear on the gain channel let's just so it's in the front like a traditional if you hadn't like an external boost pedal going yeah. into this and of course you could use this with uh, other drive pedals in the front if you want Absolutely. to so there's the boost which is kind of cool but we'll maybe stay on that a little bit longer just to sort of see Nice clean tone. I think it's a good clean tone. Yeah. I, I think um, anybody do, uh... that maybe has a preconceived idea that you know Iron Heart is all about playing metal is, has got that kind of wrong. I think. Yeah. Is it, they, they do all sorts. I mean, of the look, the look, it's got this look about it, like an angry red coming at you there. Let's go <laughs> over to channel two. Yay! This is all <laughs> analog with no valves. That sounds so great, it's not man. digital, it's not valve, it's solid state analog, I guess, isn't it? So it is an analog thing. That, it, feels, yes. it feels nice. Yeah. It it's doesn't got a, feel like a... The, the, the power amp will inevitably be one of those little highly efficient sort of class D little uh, power modules, but the D in that doesn't stand for digital. It's just it's just what that... D, the D. The D is man, not Man, I feel digital. like a... Uh, let's hear what the boost thing boundary. sounds like before. <laughs> I 
we'll do. Tune, no, yeah. about tune. I Sorry think about that. Uh, while, after we've tuned up, though, we'll try some uh, of your favourite modern metal uh, licks, please, Mr. Pete. <laughs> 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 I was like a little Look bit confused. Look at him rocking out his Sire S7 here. Probably in Champagne. One of eh? the, if not the best value sort of HSS. Look at that. He should have done it slowly and close to the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Some ASM sort of. Uh, anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, one more switch to tell you about, which we haven't used, is this. Uh, EQ, well, it's not an EQ switch. Wow. It's sort of, it's a bright to dark to flat switch. And this is ever so handy because you will quite often find, depending on whether you want to use the cabinet output, the um, emulated output, or straight into the front of an amplifier, especially straight into the front of an amplifier, you sometimes just want to adjust the overall sort of brightness or darkness of this pedal to suit. But into the cabinet, flat was pretty good. Again, it's another fairly subtle EQ switch, but very, very handy. Now we are going to switch over to hearing just the DI sound. So I will unplug the um, cabinet, and that's another cool thing about these types yes, of um, that is really good, Class actually. D style uh, power amps here. They don't care whether there's anything plugged in to the speaker output. A bit like not. me. Right, there's one other thing to tell you about here before we get going. The balanced DI output here, you can choose to have the speaker emulation on or off. We've got it on. It's just basically like an analog, um, no option sort of setting to have a yeah. speaker emulation out. If you own a separate little IR box, like the TC, what's it called? The Impulse or something Impulse, like yeah. that, or you've got loads of Anything IRs like on yeah, your, yeah. On your uh, door, then no. by all means switch that off and My put your door. own one on. Okay, and just a couple more things. Of course, you've got an auxiliary input here on the back. You've got a headphone output, which is cool. That's good. So I could almost see people whack one of these at the end of your pedal board. Headphones in. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Silent practice at home. Anyway, that's it. We'll just go through the four sounds now, through the DI. Uh, 189, um, free shipping from Anderton's if you live in the UK. Um, comes with a power supply. That's nothing else. It's, uh, it's really good. I really Links like below. it. Links below. Links below Salt Bay. Silver cool stickers as well. It with. does come with some cool stickers, mm -hmm. like a skateboard from the 1980s or something. Mm -hmm. Right. Go. Is that it? Yeah. Are we saying goodbye and playing out? Or? Uh, yes, oh, yeah. goodbye and Can let's play that? out. Yeah. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. See ya. <laughs>